The Holy Spirit gave me a message to share with you for your encouragement. Love what is good and hate what is evil. Cling to what is good and love sincerely. Be devoted to one another. Honor other people over yourselves and never be lacking in zeal and good works for the Lord. Your walk of faith, your life, everything matters because people will be affected by you for either good or bad. Let's affect them for good. Let's keep our spiritual fervor in serving the Lord. Let's not let the darkness and the evil scare us and stop us from moving forward with God. Satan is not going to stop us because greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. So let's be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer because we will be afflicted. But God says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but he will deliver us from them all. So when you are struggling and you feel afflicted, be faithful in prayer and joyful in hope. The Bible says the joy of the Lord is our strength. Let's share with those who are in need and practice hospitality. That's not just physical things. That could be spiritual things. That could be encouragement. That could be a listening ear. That could be many different things. But let's be here for each other and help each other through this life and through this spiritual journey. And let's bless those who persecute us. Let's bless and not curse those who want to see our downfall. Let's pray for them. Let's lift them up in the spirit. Because what that does for our own mind and emotions is amazing because they're loved by God too. And just because they're in rebellion and disobeying doesn't mean that we have the right to curse them or to put them down. We can put up healthy boundaries around people and things that might try to distract us. But we can pray for those who persecute us. Just like Jesus said, and he prayed for those who were crucifying him. Father, please forgive them. They don't know what they are doing because we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. We don't wrestle against people. It's a spiritual battle that we are in. So the more that we take responsibility for our own self, our own mind and how we think, the Bible says, take captive every thought that tries to exalt itself against the knowledge of God. That's our responsibility to pick up the full armor of God. It's our responsibility to take our place, which is in the fortress of God. He fights the battle for us. We don't want to be fighting this battle. Our battle is to get out of the way of God and to let him work and move. And he will. And the Bible says, Lord, you will establish peace for us because you have done all of our works in us. The Lord is doing the work. We are just his vessels. We are just his instruments to proclaim his name and his mighty works and his word. It's all about Jesus. We get to partake in his glory. God gets all the glory, but we have an inheritance in him. He is in us and we are in him. We get to have that peace and he does establish us. The Bible says, after you suffered for a while, God himself will establish you. So don't fear the evil. Don't fear the darkness. Look at the light. Look at Christ in Jesus name. And if this message has encouraged you, remember to subscribe, hit the like button, comment amen and share to a friend to encourage their day too. God bless.